I secured internship at uh, as a software development intern at a Samsung Research Institute, Bangalore. Uh, the criteria uh, was limited to uh, branch criteria was limited to CAC, EC, MNC, and electrical with a minimum GP of seven. And the selection procedure uh, includes uh, two step two steps. First was a coding round, which includes uh, three questions of uh, coding, and the second was a technical round. Basically, our work file is a uh, normal software developer, and uh, we, I have a team member aware, and we are working on a research paperwork. We have to develop an app from scratch to show whatever the research is ongoing, and uh, we are not uh, dis allowed to disclose that project. So, yeah, pretty much like we have to develop an app from scratch. That's my project. It just have to improve the throughput, data output, something like that. During my internship, uh, I had to implement a feature on a smart thing application by Samsung. I had to uh, develop a 3D modeling uh, modeling of a floor mapping, and uh, like uh, like we can't disclose uh, uh, much of it. And this. I think for resume part, we all generally follow ISM format resume and. Uh, and one more thing that, that you should have at least two good projects in your resume and uh, your competitive programming code process or whatever profile you are doing you should have that mention in your resume and uh, yeah one more thing is you should at least ask your senior to review your resume it will be very helpful uh, I did not particularly tailored my resume uh, for uh, SRIB I just used my standard uh, resume for all the companies, companies. It was not that important uh, for uh, on-campus opportunities. Interview process, you should like uh, practice basics, computer fundamentals, like OOPs and uh, computer networks. I think in, for intern, OOPs is pretty much, OOPs and OS. These two things are pretty much, you can prepare for it and you should at least have three, three to four mock interviews and you can ask your seniors or batchmates for the mock interview and it is very important before going to interview you should at least have three to four mock interviews um, yeah uh, for preparation for my interviews i just uh, um, revisited the uh, questions coding questions uh, which i practiced uh, earlier on lead code and uh, interview bit I just uh, like st uh, done standard uh, algorithms and uh, questions and for uh, CS fundamentals I, I referred my own notes and uh, interview bit uh, questions and for projects I just went through the code and uh, uh, and review the uh, logical implementation so I don't forget uh, in the at, at the time of interviews that was it. The ideal time for preparation is like uh, you should start after your first year and uh, and before two to three months of your internship OLTs you should practice on lead code for questions like uh, uh, binary tree, link list and all these things these are not like frequently asked no, these are not even asked at uh, code forces at all so you should practice all this on lead code bef uh, before your intern internship uh, OLTs uh, yeah uh the uh, the ideal time would be uh, at the end of first year so i did uh, cp uh, stuff in the starting and then uh, before the interviews uh, two to three months uh, before the interview i just practiced on lead code and interview bit and that was uh, enough for me and uh, i think you should pra practice uh, st standard questions uh, and that's all and for cs fundamental like uh, a week before uh, if you start then you would be able to cover that and uh, practicing consistently would give an edge to you. If you ask me this question, like I even ask a difficult question or something like that, but if you are asked, like, if you are asked difficult question during interview, then you should at least ask your interviewer just to explain be, like if you feel difficulty in understanding or something you should ask your interviewer just uh, explain it further and if you didn't know it 
then just say like uh, you don't know it and he will move on to next question or something yeah um for me uh, particularly uh, the questions asked asked were not that uh, that much hard as an uh, interviews uh, i think the standard questions are there just uh, giving more mo- uh, two to three mock rounds will be enough for you and just practicing consistently will be enough i think we all need some advice on this topic so basically it's not a one day process like if i tell you this 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 strategy and you will follow and you will have better time management and all but you have to go through it it's like you will improve over the time just see your schedule what you are like uh, where the what is the main time that you are wasting or what is a big chunk of time that you are not utilizing so work on it and uh, i think it will take 6 months or 1 year uh, for you specific for you to manage your time and organize it yeah i think uh, yeah it it depends on uh, ho- uh, solely on your uh, schedule just uh, uh, taking time out uh, of 1 hour or 2 hours uh, uh, every day uh, would be sufficient and just pract- practicing consistently would be enough yeah for us like uh, we had olt in uh, november and interview in december so there is not that much of a tough competition but yeah it was tough so you should like there is only one thing you can practice 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 so practice your cp and esa uh, that's it it will help you definitely Uh, yeah as only four branches were allowed to appear to the test uh, so around uh, uh, 125 to 150 people uh, appeared for the test out of which uh, 20 were selected for the interview round and uh, um, and 14 were given the inter- internship offer so the uh, competition was not that much tough uh, at uh, as it was in the de- december november december but uh, like uh, Uh, for those uh, who solved all the three questions were able to uh, were, were given a chance for the interview yeah so i already told you about my project like uh, i have to build an android app from scratch for research paper to show whatever they are doing on a research and we are not allowed to disclose it uh, so basic things that uh, i did was i just uh, develop an app that which collects different data and we have to improve the throughput efficiency uh, using an algorithm yeah that was my part uh, yeah i developed a feature in smarting application by samsung and uh, about my experience uh, it was a uh, mostly it was an online uh, internship uh, and uh, that it was not that much uh, um, uh, that much interactive but uh, at the end uh, of the uh, in last week in the last week uh, they yeah, called us for uh, called us to bangalore campus and uh, that was a great experience yeah really it was a great experience uh for ppu conversion uh, there were three criteria first was a uh, manager's review based on my performance and second was a uh, online uh, test a uh, failing a uh, failing in this test result in disqualification uh, to get a ppo and third was a uh, gpa uh, that did the final filtering and uh, one more thing uh, is uh, there were two roles for the uh, for the uh, for the uh, ppo con- ppo first was a uh, developer role and second was advanced developer role so this was the uh, this was this was for the uh, normal role for advanced developer role the gpa criteria was uh, for csc it was uh, above 8.5 and for uh, other branches it was 9 plus and uh, after uh, filtering with gpa there was a uh, inter- uh, interview also uh, for srib intern pur are uh, not that much important they will ask they will not ask about it but for other companies if you uh, will go through hr round they will ask about your pur and uh, how uh, what are the problems you face during that responsibility and how you will tackle those 
yeah these things matters the most for hrm yeah according to me uh, for software uh, companies pos uh, don't are not that much important yeah i think focusing on personal growth is pretty much important for your career development and uh, for like for us we are in it so i think uh, we should work on our soft skills that is most important because we already working on our coding and all these things these are important but we uh, like miss this little things like soft skill like communication leadership teamwork these are very important if you are uh, going to join an uh, company and this will definitely help you and uh, yeah Yeah, according to me also soft soft skills uh, matters most so like you should develop uh, these type of skills like communication and all yeah uh the cp is most important thing for you guys you should focus on uh, cp first and uh, i think development is uh, pretty easy if you have uh, like enough uh, if you solve enough questions then you can uh, build good projects in just one month or two months before internship just by giving two or one to two hours on daily basis uh yeah if you get an internship then you can work on your development like whatever you like machine learning web development app development but first before securing internship you should work on cp very hard yeah this this is the main thing uh from my side i would like to give uh, two advices first is uh, maintain your gpa at least above 8 yeah gpa is also important yeah and uh, second is uh, uh, just be consistent with solving questions uh, like uh, it's kind of a backlog if you don't do uh, like on a regular basis um, just do uh, just practice uh, and give uh, regularly give contests 